included in exhibitions for over a century and once part of the collection of the artist's family for over 50 years, Tom Thompson's Ragged Oaks makes its auction debut with Cowley Abbott this spring season. Canadian art historian and Tom Thompson scholar Joan Murray notes that 1916's Ragged Oaks is a magical and quintessential Thompson painting in which balances the key to beauty from the oaks off center to the foliage and bush to the colors used throughout. Murray describes the power of the composition where the two oak tree trunks are depicted in a location of spectacular beauty. The leaves tumbled on the ground and the brilliant orange foliage and bush to one side, balanced by bright leaves on the other, reveal a scene of sparkling vitality, with all the liveliness Thompson wished to record and which appears in his very best works. From the background tapestry of distant trees to the scattered logs of the foreground, the painting practically hums with energy, but the energy is matched with the harmony of Thompson's excited palette. Murray describes Ragged Oaks as one of Thompson's best sketches of 1916, the artist's golden year, where he recorded varied configurations of the trees he encountered, from Ragged Oaks through to those we see in the sketches of two of Thompson's most well-known works, the Jack Pine and the West Wind. The year is inscribed on the reverse of the panel as well as not for sale, not surprising given the quality and vivaciousness of Ragged Oaks. The painting was once owned by Fraser Thompson, Tom's youngest brother. Fraser described this exact composition to a biographer in 1930. A cobalt blue sky with two ragged oak trees, a little off center, with two patches of foliage in glowing color, with foreground in green, brown, purple, manor, with blue plus yellow. A real painting. The private collectors acquired the artwork from Fraser Thompson's family in 1971, and it has remained a treasure gem within their museum quality collection. We are delighted to feature Ragged Oaks in Kelly Abbott's auction of artwork from an important private collection on June 8th.